the world felt heavy. Like Atlas, he carried its weight on his shoulders. Every problem, every sorrow pressed down on him. He felt responsible. He had to fix it all. Alone, he spent his days lost in reports, his nights planning solutions. He barely slept, fueled by a burning sense of duty. He forgot what it meant to laugh, to dream, to simply be. He became a machine, tirelessly working to mend a broken world. But the weight was crushing him. His energy dwindled, his spirit waned. The world, it seemed, was an endless ocean of problems, and he, a lone swimmer, tiring with each stroke. Despair threatened to engulf him. He saw poverty in the eyes of a child begging for scraps. He felt the sting of discrimination in the words hurled at a stranger. He witnessed the earth weep as forests burned and rivers ran dry. Each experience added another stone to the mountain he carried. He started initiatives, joined campaigns, donated tirelessly. He organized protests, wrote petitions, and debated with anyone who would listen. He believed that his relentless efforts, his unwavering commitment, could somehow tip the scales towards justice and healing. But the world remained a whirlwind of suffering. For every step forward, there were setbacks. For every victory, a new battle emerged. The constant struggle began to chip away at his hope, leaving him feeling like a lone warrior facing an invincible army. One day, exhausted and defeated, he collapsed on a park bench. Tears streamed down his face, mirroring the world's pain. As he sobbed, his gaze fell upon a tiny dandelion pushing through a crack in the pavement. He watched in awe, as the delicate flower defied the odds, its vibrant yellow bloom a stark contrast to the cold, hard concrete. A wave of shame washed over him. He had been so focused on fixing the world that he had forgotten to notice its resilience, its inherent beauty. The dandelion became a symbol of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest corners, life finds a way. It was a gentle nudge from the universe, urging him to look closer, to see beyond the overwhelming weight of the world. He remembered a quote, the best way to predict the future is to create it. He realized that his approach had been flawed. He was trying to control the uncontrollable, to single-handedly mend a world woven from billions of individual threads. He began to see the world as a vast ecosystem, a complex web of interconnected lives, each playing a crucial role. He understood that true change starts from within, like a seed that needs nurturing before it can blossom into a tree. He realized that his obsession with saving the world had prevented him from cultivating his own inner garden. He had neglected his own well-being, his own dreams, his own responsibility to bloom. He started small. He took walks in nature, breathing in the fresh air, feeling the sun on his skin. He reconnected with old friends, laughed with them, shared stories. He rediscovered his passions, painting, writing and playing music. As he nurtured his own well-being, he felt a shift within him. The weight on his shoulders didn't disappear, but it felt lighter, more manageable. He realized that his own happiness wasn't separate from the world's well-being, it was intricately connected to it. He understood that he wasn't Atlas, condemned to carry the world alone. He was a single tree in a vast forest, connected through an intricate network of roots to every other living thing. He continued his work for a better world, but with a newfound sense of purpose and peace. He focused on his strengths, collaborating with others, sharing his light, instead of carrying the burden alone. He found joy in small victories, celebrating each step towards a brighter future. He learned that self-care wasn't selfish, it was a revolutionary act. By nurturing his own well-being, he was contributing to the collective well-being of the world. He understood that a single raindrop might seem insignificant, but together they could nourish an entire forest. He finally understood the world didn't need him to carry its weight. 
It needed him to add his light. And as he walked forward, lighter and brighter, he knew that he wasn't alone. He was one with the world, and the world was one with him.